like Hitler's mustache. What nice things did some idiot ruin for everyone else? Actually needing to talk to the manager. Sending back food that actually has something wrong with it. I got served a burger once and when I bit in the center was frozen. It crunched like when you bite a popsicle. When I told the waiter he gave me that look and said you ordered it rare. Miss. He looked mortified after I showed him what I was talking about. But it's idiots that send their food back for stupid reasons that made the whole situation awkward and uncomfortable. Idiots aiming green laser pointers at planes. It got them banned here in Switzerland. They were also used by observatories to show the sky to people but now we can't do it anymore. Isis kinda ducked everyone with the name Isis. And anyone who could be named that in the future. Which sucks because it's a very beautiful name with an even more beautiful meaning. Hitler also ruined the swastika. Peter Dinklage simultaneously made people realize that dwarfs can be sexy and also raised the bar way too high for the rest of us. Duck you Peter. You sexy. Sexy man. Many animals in Australia. Someone brought the cane toad to Australia thinking it would heal pests. In reality. They have grown so much that they have destroyed the ecosystems and food chains. It's so sad how we will never know how good the wildlife would have been without that prick. The name Karen. Reddit you did this. The FCC ruined the telephone because they allow robber calls and telemarketers to do whatever the F they want. You can thank Richard Reed for all of us having to take our shoes off to get on an airplane. Creative names for kids. I think the less common names are pretty awesome. But all of those dumb parents who decided to just spell a common name with extra letters or something kinda ruined it. My initials are literally SS. I'm German. So I guess that counts? Being brown and flying on a plane with a beard. The Tsar is a rich because of the damn Taliban. All the violence in schools nowadays. If you get into a fight on security cameras and fight back a self defense. The school will still punish you and the aggressor. Edit. AKA Zero Tolerance. That one guy that put 75 TB of movies on on a drive unlimited storage. Berlusconi founded a party named Forza Italia. Which is exactly what you would shout during a sport match, go Italy. Now nobody says it as it feels extremely awkward. Men ruined online dating for men. Terrorists in general with ski masks. A girl in my class in school got a concussion when we were playing football. Since then no girls at the school have been allowed to play football meanwhile the boys are still allowed. This happened 8 years ago. I've graduated and to my knowledge the rule still applies. I think it's funny all these women named Danny Ordinaries because for 20 years the name was associated with a honorable, self-assured, and righteous woman. And then. Not. Any general interaction with children when you are an older male. Like in the Joker movie trailer when the mom told Jay to stop bothering her kid. That was an awesome and wholesome moment and both people were getting a kick out of it. Then some worthless idiots for some reason decided to be creeps and ruin even simple interactions. Such as that. For the rest of us normal people. Being named. Osama. I live in the US. One of best friends is Egyptian. He has at least 4 friends with that name. It's super common over there. That one has clown ruined the name for everyone. The Kayi Kayi Kayi, lol, kinda ruined dressing up like a ghost. How has no one said this? The name Alexa. Ted in accounting. We can't make proper coffee ever since he busted the machine. Idiot. 88. I know Hit Talair's crew ran with that insignia. But I'm Chinese Canadian and 8 slash 8 sounds like luck fortune and we have the habit of doubling down on things for good fortune. I've had so many nasty comments directed my way because of my username. Like calm your panties. I am not a neo nazi asshole. Just look through my post history. Some people's children. The movie sideways held Merlo sales for a while. Hawaii used to be mosquito free. Some guy brought them to the island in a jar and released them into the wild. 
The fedora. Twofold. The fedora is an amazing hat. But Kringby Fat Slobs had tarnished it reputation. Now if you wear it you are seen as a ducking internet idiot. Also. Most fedora sold now are not fedora. Most of the time they are trilby hats. The number 69. I have played hockey with that number all my life. And nobody takes me seriously anymore. Pumpkin spice is pretty stellar. But now you're a basic itch for liking it. Hitler ruined the name Adolf. He also ruined the name Hitler. One time my guy came up in front of our group of friends and said hey if you don't mind could you share your nut milk? And then everyone was just staring at him. Completely bamboozled. Until he reached over and poured himself a cup of almond milk. Since then I haven't been able to drink almond milk the same. Large companies ruined copyright laws. Buying ice cream. All because some idiot couldn't keep their tongue in their mouth. My trans friend announced his new chosen name, Brock, about a week before the convicted rapist Brock Turner thing. That was a disappointment. My local grocery store used to sell self-serve shelled and unshelled pistachios. Someone kept putting shelled pistachios in a bag and ringing up unshelled pistachios. They don't sell self-serve pistachios anymore. Men ruined big dick pics for men. You flooded the market. Boys. You devalued the artsy big dick pic by sending them out scatter shot to women who didn't even want to see them, which is an asshole move. By the way, and now women who would otherwise be kind of open to seeing your junk feel no desire to because they can open up any online dating app or social media site and be bombarded by them any time they choose, which they won't. Because it's passe now. You know why the tit pic still has an air of desirability about it? Because women don't send them out to everyone who shows them even the faintest interest. We kept the market buoyant. Inviting kids to your private amusement park. The classic example, going to class and finding out that you had no homework for the weekend. Yay. Then you realize there are two absolute knobs talking goofing off in the back of the room. And then the teacher says. That's right guys. Thanks to Willy and Bob I'm assigning homework to you all as a punishment. Everyone say thank you Willy and Bob. The only thing you can guess is that the teacher really wanted to beat Willy and Bob's asses for daring to talk in her class but because she was not allowed to. She would provoke the rest of us into doing it. And you can bet that their asses got beat for ruining it for the rest of us. Fun plane rides. Damn Osama Bin Laden. One family ruined an 80 year old roller coaster. And messed up the coasters in an entire state. The roller coaster at Idlewild Park in Laganier, PA, was built in 1938, and had never had an injury until 2017. A family boarded the coaster, and the two kids, ages 3 and 7, were seated together. The smaller child was placed in the inside seat, as required. But before the train left the station, the kids switched seats, as the train made a turn. The three-year-old fell out of the open side of the train and was severely injured. The park was blamed because the seven-year-old was less than half an inch under the 48 inches minimum to ride without an adult. The three-year-old was allowed to ride with a 48 inches passenger. The ride operators didn't see the kids switch seats. Either. As a result. The park had to replace the entire train with a hideous new one that has gigantic safety wings seat belts, and locking safety bars. The entire state has cracked them. Strongly encouraging the addition of extra seat belts to all coasters. The extra safety devices have resulted in extra expense, higher maintenance, and increased wait times on rides. All because to kids switch seats. Terrorists creating the Tsar. Idiots in Balkan that hate on every other nation. And making us look bad. When in reality they are less than 10%. And this is for both sides. You are all assholes. We are all brothers Croats. Serbs. Bosnians. Montenegrins. It's to the point if you say that you are patriotic people think that you must hate someone. But in reality you just ducking love your country. Glad I got that off my chest. 
I could think of some. Ghost and clown outfits. Dads being with their kids at playgrounds. Trench coats. Someone ruined senior prank day by taking a goat to school. Got it banned. The worst part was. I was in grade 11 at the time. My senior class got shafted because of someone else's bad decision and a goat. The Nazis ruined German patriotism forever. The fact that it's so easy to litigate in America has ruined a lot of things. Think about it. How many times do you have to sign your life away on some form? Eulers. Waivers. It's because there was some idiot somewhere that ruined things for everyone else. Gaming ruined by aimbots and other hacks. Feminism. I'm feminist. And I'm sad that people assume I'm anti-man. Pretty certain that I can't name my future child Judas. It's a shame too. I have always loved the name. Jared Fogel. Jared Kushner. And Jared Leto all ruined the name Jared. A Jared.